ever felt like you're in the middle of a spiritual battlefield where the stakes are high and the enemies are hidden in plain sight? Imagine facing a storm where the very people who should have been your allies were secretly plotting against you. They wore masks of friendship while trying to undermine your every step. Your anointing and light drew them in, revealing their true intentions when you started to rise. Why are these friends so eager to see you fail? Why do they only support you when you're beneath them and scheme when you soar above? What if I told you that God saw their every move and intervened to protect you, even when you were unaware of their whispers and plots? In 2024, God is revealing their true colors and dealing with those who have wronged you. He's showing you their deceit to guide your path forward. No matter the obstacles or the enemy's attacks, you are covered by divine grace. Your strength, faith, and God's protection will see you through. Ready to uncover how you can stand firm, rise above, and shine even brighter, despite the battles you face? Discover the powerful message of resilience, divine intervention, and the victory that awaits you. Don't miss out, this could be the breakthrough you've been waiting for. This is a real spiritual battle you're facing. The enemy tried to take you down, but you didn't give up. The enemy's mission is to steal, kill, and destroy, especially when you're chosen by God. Your special gifts, your anointing, drew in people who didn't have good intentions. They acted like friends but were really working against you, like enemies in disguise. They set traps for you. They hoped you would fail. They wanted you to lose for no reason. These people let darkness use them, and by doing so, they became your enemies. It wasn't something you did, it's the path they chose. Some of these people are fine if you're doing okay, but the moment you start doing better than them, jealousy kicks in. They only support you as long as you stay below them. This is how the enemy works through them, trying to pull you down just when you're rising higher. But you've overcome it all. You stood strong and didn't let their wishes come true. Who gave them the power to speak curses over your life? Who gave them the right to say you can't receive your blessings from God? No one. They didn't have that authority. Yet they acted like they were justified, like it was righteous to come against you. These people really thought they knew you, had you all figured out. Your own blood relatives thought they knew everything about you. That toxic ex-lover believed they had your life mapped out too. Their goal was to break you, to see you fail. But then you came back, shining even brighter than before. Now, everyone's shocked, stunned at where you are and what you're doing. God had a plan. He hid your true value from them. He saw their hearts, the schemes they were plotting behind your back. He heard the gossip, the slander, the backstabbing. So, he covered you, protected you, so that when you re-emerged, they couldn't stop what God was doing in your life. They never saw it coming. All. He's saying, if only you knew what they were saying behind your back, you'd understand why I had to remove you from them or them from you. You weren't in the room when they talked about you, but God was. He listened to every word. So, he stepped in and said, why should my chosen one stay around people who secretly despise them? Now, in 2024, God is putting those people in their place. Everyone who came against you is being handled. And he's warning you, don't let these people back into your life. He's showing you their true colors for a reason. Whether it comes through a vision or a dream, God is giving you clear signs about those who hurt you. They don't think you know. They don't believe you have a relationship with God or that you have spiritual insight. They underestimate you and think you're unaware of the truth. These people played the role of your enemy, and now they expect you to forget. They want you to act like nothing happened so they can do it again. But God says, enough is enough. 
He's not letting them back into your life. He's showing you who they really are, and now it's your job to listen and move forward. You are stepping into a new season, a season meant for God's divine glory. The past is behind you now. God has placed you in this season, and even though it might feel unclear, like a fog hanging over your path, He's there with you. He's telling you, keep moving forward. Don't stop. He knows it's tough. He knows the battles are hard, especially when people come against you in large numbers. You're just one person, but it feels like you're being attacked by an army. People are watching you, stalking you on social media, trying to figure out how to tear you down. They speak curses over your life, hoping to rob you of your peace and blessings. They're scheming, plotting, doing everything they can to harm you. But God says, He sees it all. Every scheme, every lie, every plot, He knows. God is telling you today, don't worry about what they're doing. Don't worry about how they feel about you or what they're planning. Instead, He's calling you to stay focused on Him. Go into your prayer closet, seek His guidance, and leave the rest in His hands. He's got you. Keep pressing forward, and don't let the noise distract you from the path He's set before you. Any attack or witchcraft or attacks coming from the enemy or the enemy using people over you, God says stay in your prayer closet. Pray against it, pray without ceasing. Because when you're anointed, one of God, you're always going to have, you're going to have opposition, should I say, that's the word, opposition on every turn. People that don't want to see you make it. People mad, because God chose you over them. People mad, because you've got anointing, and they don't. So they speak word curses. They get jealous. They get envious. They hate you because you're the light, and they still stuck in darkness. Some of these people have deep issues, and they try to make you their target. But here's the thing, your anointing will always attract attention. It pulls people in. It draws both light and darkness. You're going to have people who support you and people who work against you. But as long as you know who you are in God, as long as you stand firm in His purpose for your life, you have nothing to fear. People thought they had you all figured out. They really believed they could destroy you. They whispered, that person is going to lose everything. We'll make sure of it. They wanted to tear you down just because you didn't bend to their will. They hoped you'd fail, hoping you'd lose your blessings. But they didn't count on one thing, you're covered by God's grace. They underestimated your strength, your faith, and the power of God working through you. They thought their plots would ruin you, but instead, you rose above it. Their plans backfired, and now they're left wondering how you're still standing. God's protection and favor have carried you through it all, and as long as you stay true to Him, no one can take away what He has destined for you. They can't use you up and abuse you no more. They can't control you. They can't nitpick everything you do, and God said, cut these people off, and that's what you did. So now they're feeling some type of way about that. You got these people feeling some type of way because you chose to get right. You chose to cut them off because you realized they're not beneficial for you in your spiritual growth anymore, and you were righteous. You were righteous, not beneficial at all. People are shocked by what God is doing for you, and not for them. They can't understand it. But it all comes down to the heart. Their heart wasn't in the right place. While they were wishing for your downfall, God was busy lifting you up. It's not just about money. It's about the spirit inside you, the love in your heart. People get caught up in how much money someone has, thinking money equals power. But many abuse money, using it to do wrong. This world runs on money, sure. People say, money is power. 
But to some, that power leads them to do wicked things, just to get more. But God says it doesn't have to be like that for his chosen ones. His anointed don't have to sell their soul for wealth. You don't have to trade your peace, your values, or your faith for money just to fit in. Some people chase riches so hard they end up sacrificing their soul, joining get-rich-quick schemes, stealing, or lying just to stay ahead. But God's plan for you is different. He wants you to have real success, the kind that doesn't cost you your soul, your joy, or your relationship with Him. And that's why He's blessing you. Your heart is right, and your spirit is aligned with Him. That's what sets you apart. God said the people who wronged you are going to face their downfall. It doesn't matter if they took from you three years ago, five years ago, or even ten. If they stole from you or deceived you, and their heart wasn't right, God says they will face the consequences. Many of these people have been on a dark path for a long time, and some won't even live past 45. Their actions have been catching up to them. You don't know exactly how they'll meet their end, but God says not to worry. Dust it off. Anyone who took from you wrongfully will reap what they sow. It doesn't matter who they are, family, friends, exes. If they tricked you, made you believe they cared, but in reality, took advantage of your trust, they will face judgment. God saw how they were deceptive, pretending to have your best interest at heart, but leaving you with more loss than you ever imagined. They lied, cheated, and used you for their gain. God says enough is enough. These people won't escape the consequences of their actions. Many won't even live past 40 because of the path they chose. You only have so long to act wicked on this earth before God says enough. Their days are numbered. They think they can keep getting away with it, stealing, lying, and mocking. They laugh as they plan, saying, I'll take from her, I'll steal from him, and I'll get rich doing it. But God sees it all. Their days are very numbered. God saw their deceit. He saw their ugly hearts. They acted like your enemy, and they enjoyed it. But God says he will deal with the wicked. Their time is running out. You can trust that. You are anointed, chosen by God. You don't have to be like them. You don't have to do wicked things to get what you want. Even though the world tries to make you believe that, God says, trust in me. It may seem like the world is full of chaos, like everything is out of control. You see the news and wonder, is anything too hard for God? But nothing is. Sometimes, God just wants you to take a step of obedience. He wants you to get on your knees and pray. Sometimes, He asks you to fast and let Him fight the battle for you. Other times, He may want you to be still and quiet. But always consult God. You are anointed, and because of that, the battles will be tough. People will lie. People will plot. They will try to tear you down. But because of who you are, and more importantly, because of who you have, God, none of that can defeat you. God knows how to get you out of any trap set by your enemies. That's why he's asking you to trust him. He knows exactly when to move you, when to tell you to speak, and when to keep you silent. Let people do what they will, but know that God is in control. People often try to control others with money. When you don't have enough cash, bill collectors call and threaten you. They know you don't have the money because they see how little you earn. Yet, they still harass you over small amounts like $100. God says, don't stress about this. The system is set up to make you worry. But don't be dismayed by these tactics. They are just tricks from an unseen enemy. You can't see this enemy, but you know it's there because you face so many challenges. God gave you powerful gifts. He wants you to pray. 
Life isn't just about the physical world. It's also about the spiritual world. You need to pray when you wake up and when you go to bed. There's always something to pray about. You can't see the spiritual battles going on around you unless God shows you. That's why dreams and visions are important. God speaks to you through them. When you have spiritual battles, God gives you hints in your dreams. Pay attention to them. They can show you what to pray for. When you wake up, use what you learned from your dreams and visions to guide your prayers. This helps you get ready for any spiritual battles ahead. I'm being honest with you all, I did this today. The enemy tried to mess with me in a dream, but I got up and prayed against it. Whatever the devil thought he could do, I prayed against it. You have to trust that God heard your prayer. When you pray, God is already fighting for you. The devil may think he's winning, but he's not. Some of you need to give the devil an eviction notice. Tell him to leave you alone. Stop letting him push you around. You don't have to be his punching bag. Stand up and say, no more. You are anointed and strong. The devil can't bully you, so he tries to use others to make you doubt yourself and your faith. He wants you to stop trusting God. But God says to trust him even more. When the enemy attacks like a flood, God will raise a barrier against him. That's what the Bible says. The enemy might come at you hard, but God will protect you and make the devil back off. Resist the devil with all your strength, and he will run away. The devil isn't going to come with a pitchfork. He's sneaky and uses tricks, but you have the power to stand strong and say, no more. The devil doesn't always show up with a pitchfork and red suit. Instead, he can come through people in your life. He might show up as your mom, dad, ex-lover, old friend, boss, or co-worker. The enemy can use anyone to try to bring you down. You need to have spiritual discernment to recognize when someone is being used by the devil. These people might be weak in their faith, and they listen to the enemy's lies. The devil might just whisper to them, go bother that person, and they follow the command without thinking. These people don't always understand what's really going on. They don't see the spiritual battle happening behind the scenes. They think you're the problem because the devil's lies tricked them into believing that. But in reality, you're just anointed and shining with light that they can't see. The devil uses these people to attack you, but it's really about your light and how they can't handle it. That's the battles we fight, that's the battles we fight with the enemy. But you can't let that waver your faith. God got that under control, and if you believe that by faith, whatever plan the enemy got over your life, it ain't going to work. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in the day of judgment, thou shalt condemn. And that is the heritage of the saints of the righteous so you will have a reward. So don't worry about these people and how they feel about you and what they've done. God says he got that too. You just keep being obedient to what God told you to do. You, that's anointed by God.